What's going on guys and welcome to Bogear RC videos. So today I got something that's uh, none like anything I've ever uh, highlighted on my channel before. I uh, went to the hobby shop looking for some paint for uh, one of my SCX24 builds that I'm doing and seen one of these guys sitting on the counter. I didn't know what it was so uh i inquired about it because it kind of looked cool to me and, and the uh guy told me uh that this was losi's new release this is a uh this is a repop of apparently the car that put losi on the map which was the jrx uh back in like 1988. Uh, now originally this car was i believe a 10th scale but they redid it in a 1 16th scale it's uh, basically designed and appears to uh, look just like the uh, original with the exception of it has modern day electronics in it. And of course it's a 1 16th size as opposed to the 1 10th size that it originally was. But uh, man, I seen the thing and it was just cool to me. And uh, I like to expand my horizons when I can. And I thought I'd grab one of these guys up and uh, just mess around with it a little bit. And, uh, you know, learn something new. But uh, this guy's got a uh, fiberglass chassis. Um, it's all adjustable. The front steering, uh, the rear is adjustable. Aluminum shocks. Uh, we got the uh, JRX2 on the back. They even uh, they even put stickers on the motor to uh, look like the original, and uh, it seems pretty cool. It's uh, small enough I can tote it with me, and the price point is just a little bit more than an SCX24. So I'm feeling like this uh, might be even a good option for. You know, if you got a youngster that wants to uh, get into the RC hobby, this might be a, a, a good start out vehicle. Um, I'd always kind of wanted to uh, check out a Mini B or a Mini T, but I never really pulled the trigger on one. But uh, this guy just, uh, you know, looked good to me. And uh, I decided I'd just go ahead and try it out and see what we got. All right, so looking at the body, the body seems pretty solid. Uh, should probably take some crashing and bashing. Uh, the wing is held on with this wire. Looks like we can turn these little clips to uh, release the wing from the wire. Inside the wire's built in, uh, attached here. It's got a little bracket inside. It feels good and sturdy. Looks pretty cool. Um, all spectrum electronics uh spectrum two and one 25 amp i believe uh esc receiver combo it's got a little spectrum sx 107 steering servo looks like they got a servo saver on here uh it does come with a 2s lipo battery it's a little reaction battery it's uh fits in there pretty nicely a little hard pack uh, 20c 650 milliamp fits right in close the door and uh, put your pin back in aluminum shocks oil filled uh, looks like maybe we got an adjustment collar right here um, looks like they got a choke around the power and the ground wire. That's uh, for RF interference, I would assume. And she's got a differential. I don't know exactly what size this little motor is here. But uh, apparently now internally, the uh, transmission in this one is uh, not the same as the original. I think it's more updated. Looks like we have... Uh, yeah, these look like some plastic axle shafts here. Uh, ball bearings. Uh, yeah, and uh, I guess this this is what they were uh, apparently known for. They call this a five-link suspension in the rear. Um, yeah, all in all, it's plastic. All in all, feels pretty smooth. 
you know, I'm really not a buggy guy. I don't know a lot about this stuff. So this is going to be a little learning curve for me. And it might be just a fun toy to just go out and uh, mess around with. I don't know. I'm, I might, I might uh, see if we can upgrade it in the future or, uh, you know, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see as time goes by. Um, the radio, I guess if you was driving left-handed, you could, you could, uh, looks like you could pretty easily one hand this guy got uh steering rate steering trim on that side this side you have power steering reverse and uh like i was talking about before as a for the beginners uh, you got 50 percent power 75 percent power and 100 percent. so you could turn it down to let the youngsters uh learn how to drive it uh comes with your typical little uh tool set here uh, usb charger comes with batteries for the remote you get your little losi sticker in the kit and of course your instruction manual so yeah like i said she's uh price point it's just a little bit more than an scx 24 and uh you know i don't always go places where i have somewhere to crawl and Sometime it might just be fun to go out and rip around a little bit and you know, so we're gonna try this guy out and uh, See what it's like So anyway guys, like I said, this isn't the uh, typical type of uh, vehicle that I show on my channel But you know, I thought it was pretty cool and uh, if it's something that you guys want to see more of you know, maybe we can <clears throat> look into uh, doing some upgrades to it or something, but uh, anyway uh comes in three different colors by the way i didn't mention that before it uh, comes in a blue one i think the, personally i like the blue one the best but the blue one was the uh display model and they had a red one and they also have a black version so uh yeah like i said if you want to see something else about this maybe we can do some more videos on it i'll do a, for sure a little running video and a in a review of what i think about it but uh yeah till next time guys Oh, Uncle Lee, Bogey RC Video saying I'll see ya.